I'm making this video for all of you that think that are stuck or are wondering whether or not their decision on going into chemical engineering was correct or maybe you just feel the imposter syndrome and don't feel confident at all regarding chemical engineering. <laughs> Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. As usual, it's always great to have you back. And let me tell you that I actually got inspired on the idea of making this video while I was checking out Reddit. I was reading some posts on constantly feeling inferior or feeling that you are comparing with others. So essentially anything regarding towards the imposter syndrome. And in the beginning, I actually was kind of excited to see that other fellow chemical engineers, recent graduates and not so recent graduates were experiencing this feeling of essentially being an imposter, not knowing what to do, or sometimes not even knowing whether or not are they in the correct place. After all, I also felt this when I was a recent graduate. I had no idea whether or not this was a common feeling and it's something that eventually I learned that it is quite common. And what I want to do in this specific video is to share with you guys some tips and recommendations on how to overcome this crazy feeling on not being useful, maybe always comparing with fellow colleagues, maybe wondering whether or not you're in the correct place or maybe simply feeling that you don't fit at all. But more importantly, I will say it's not just about understanding the problem, but trying to fix it and control that mindset. So without further ado, let's get started. So number one will be recognize it, understand it and work it through. So yes, the very first step is to accept the problem and understand that this is quite common. It's not only you and it's not only for recent graduates. This feeling is actually very common in many other people. The only thing is that not so many people are willing to talk about it. And I'm pretty sure that you are quite familiar with this idea of not belonging to a certain area, maybe feeling underqualified, or maybe just feeling that you shouldn't be there, that you are not that great as an engineer or as a worker, and that some other people should be in your place. Not only that, this is quite common with young people, but also with women. They have this belief that they are underqualified compared to other peers. And honestly, guys, the easiest way to solve this is to first recognize it understand it and try to work it through. Number two will be to try to focus your attention not on what you are lacking, not on trying to compare with others, on checking out what other certifications your friends may have or which other type of jobs your friends may be encountering. If some of your colleagues are having more promotions or if they have a better salary or so, try to stick to the facts. List all the things that you have achieved so far because sometimes you just read the things that you have achieved and they are quite amazing. In the other hand, if you read that list and you think that something's lacking, that it is not great, it may be because indeed you are lacking the work. So the main idea is to be very objective. Either you are doing the things that I require for your current role and it's just your mind playing tricks with you, or you're actually not doing the job required for that job and that's why you are feeling that. Number three will be to actually try to compare. Yes, compare. So I know that comparison is the thief of joy, but in many cases you need to have a benchmark, something that you want to be comparing towards so you are sure that you are actually advancing. Because as an engineer, you always need to have a reference, something that you need to compare to versus the point that you have. For instance, try to compare with other fellow colleagues or maybe in the same company, try to see what is the average time in which a person will be promoted or what is the average age for a senior engineer, maybe a manager, and try to stick with that information. And as I stated before, comparing is quite normal. Actually, we do it consciously and unconsciously. This is because we want to see what is out there. Imagine not being able to compare on what things that you can achieve, then it will be very hard for a chemical engineer to dream of going to the best chemical companies or maybe even shifting towards a marketing career, a finance career, if you had no other chemical engineers to compare with. Number four, in my opinion, is one of the most fundamental ones and is the one that I see the most difference between the persons that have this feeling and is they try to find a mentor. So yes, try to find someone that's going to be helping you, that is going to be guiding you, and it's going to be showing you the way, but not making the hard work. Remember that any leader is going to encourage you to become another leader. It's not going to take you by the hand and make all the work for you. 
And I'm pretty sure that you're wondering, where can you find these type of mentors? Well, I'm talking about a professor from university, maybe a boss or maybe a senior engineer that you feel some inspiration, maybe some other colleagues or classmates that have been doing great in the recent years or someone that you just look up to and you know that they are doing great things. Main idea is to try to absorb the ideas, the tips, and recommendations that they will give you. Now, you don't need to do this always with a person on site. You can always go online and seek for help. Actually, I have some recommendation for you. Lately, I have been talking a lot with Hamza, which is the creator of the Chemeng Live channel, which as the name implies, covers a lot of topic on chemical engineering life, but also on career advice. And regarding that, I want to let you know that they offer free mentorship programs which I really think is great because it's for free. We're talking about a free mentorship. It's all about five months. It's the annual, meaning that you can enroll in this mentorship program twice a year. And the great thing of this is that you will be connected with a industrial or research engineer, meaning that you will be able to clarify all those doubts and of course ask for recommendations and tips on how to create a career, shift from different industries and improve your leadership within a company. Number five will be just you need to be prepared for the role that you're going to take. Otherwise, you will feel that overwhelming sensation of not being able to do it or at least don't have the confidence to work work that true. Now, I'm not saying that knowledge is going to solve everything regarding this aspect, but for sure it's going to help you. As with anything, the more you learn, the more you do, the more you practice, you're going to get more this of the understanding on how stuff is done and the confidence on how to perform such tasks. And just in case you want to check some theoretical courses, practical courses, or any other type of training, I'll be offering you a great promo code so you get to know which courses I offer, which type of trainings are they recommended for you, and more importantly, get started with your training. Number six is actually one of the things that we don't talk that much because it regards emotional intelligence and maybe even some psychological aspects. And I'm talking about being able to work through those negative thoughts. Why are you out to sabotaging yourself? Why are you thinking that you are not good enough? Why are you saying that you cannot do it? Why are you not doing the work that is required? Well, all this is typically in our heads and the only way to get rid of this thinking is of course, training your mind to be better at that. I'm not saying disappearing these type of thoughts because out to sabotage is going to be always present the feeling of imposter syndrome may be always there, but the difference that I see the most between different type of performers is that some of them are not able to deal with that. While in the other hand, I see these top performers doing great whenever they talk about how to sabotage and ignoring the imposter syndrome. Number seven will be, yes, be realistic, my friend. It is also very important to understand reality. Sometimes we have some ideals, we have some plans, we have some dreams, and suddenly we get crushed with reality. And this is something that is very common for people our age or younger generations. We don't want to do the work that is required to get the benefits that are out there. We just want to go out there, satiate our feelings of completion without doing the effort and the work. For this, you will need to understand reality. And that is unfortunately something that may be hard for many of us. So you can get started maybe wondering on which is the typical career path for a chemical engineer. What are the company plans for young engineers that are recently hired? Or maybe what is the average position after five years, 10 years? If you want to travel, is that going to be in the plans? Or should you be able to change jobs how many times of jobs is the average chemical engineering doing and many other type of information. The more you understand reality, the more you can plan towards the future. And finally, guys, but not least, and actually very important, be patient. Lots of great things in life take time. So don't try to rush it. Try to enjoy the moment. Eventually, if you're doing great jobs and with a little bit of luck, you're going to see that you will encounter a lot of great results. Remember that it is almost impossible to suddenly wake up and say, well, I just made it to my goals. It is the constant work, the routine and the efforts that you make every day 
that are going to make that transition to the position or the goal that you want to get. So there you have it guys. And also I show you eight steps or recommendations or tips. These are not in actually a specific order. You can work in any tip or recommendation depending on what is your step. A lot of people are already on the understanding of the problem, but they don't know how to take action. And if you're already taking action, maybe some patience is something that you need to work through. Maybe getting a mentor or maybe any other recommendation may be a good fit for you. And once again, remember that this sensation is very common for a lot of us, if not everyone. But if you understand the problem, work it through and be patient, most likely you're going to get your results. I really hope that this video helps you improve your confidence and get rid of the imposter syndrome. On my behalf, that will be it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.